guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode number 9 of the FC Barcelona career mode series. Uh, just something quick before we get into the games today. I've decided to change up the layout of these videos slightly. So, today I'm still going to be playing Via Real and when it goes to the next page, uh, the El Clasico against Real Madrid. But from the next episode on, I'm probably going to play offline, uh, like two or three games. Uh, I'm probably going to do like the Real Sociedad via Valencia. Valencia games, the Sporting Yihon and the Deportivo game. Probably do four games per episode and then I'll live come the last one. Which hopefully it will give me more time to give you more um, actual in-game footage if the game's actually got a lot of highlights to show you but that seems to be my plan going forward so we'll jump into our first game to go against Villarreal if you enjoy hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below so I'll see you in the first game and we've gone in for a com more or less complete rotation side there's exceptional Busquets and Rakitic with thoughts on the Real Madrid game next after this one. Just gets lucky to get past and plays it to Sergio and to Rakitic. He's going to play it up to Vidal, down to Morata, who's got no support whatsoever because no one's making any runs. So I was cut back inside and find Busquets to give it to Sergio Roberto. To get to Vidal, going to knock it back around for Gaia. He's going to take the byline, think it back in. And Berto wins the header, but it's straight down the net, down the throat of the goalkeeper. And Torin loses out, and it's a three on two. To Guerras. Bruno to Guerras, he goes for a long shot, and then the hair collects it. Bruno gets around the outside. And he's given a penalty for I don't quite know what. He got the pass off, then he went down after he's played the ball. Where are we gonna go? I'm gonna go to keeper's right. Ah. Keeper's right was the way he actually went, and I went the other way. <laughs> I meant my right. <laughs> they saw him straight back on the attack, literally minutes out of the goal, and they're back in, and it's 2 0 from a stupid pass from Roberto into Rakitic, and they just hit me. Hmm. Well, this game's not going to plan. <laughs> They've broken the back line again. My defence is just all over the place today. Costa, how oh they oh, made the interception and Morata just getting outnumbered. Rakitic going to cut back in and then go back out to Toran and going to drop it up for Morata. Oh, and he heads wide. If that had gone in, would he have given the goal or given that as half time? <laughs> How is that a foul? I won the ball. Can we counter Rakitic? Toran loses out again. And the what the hell was Martinez doing? This game's going really, really downhill. I tried locking on with Martinez and he just went the opposite way. What's happened there? They just push each other away. Sergio brings away, plays it to Tor and he's going to try and put it over the top for Rakitic. It gets in and it's saved and it's blocked. 
from a right of shot. That should have been 3-1 and given us a lifeline, but they've messed it up. And a misplaced pass back from them, and Rakitic nicks it and gives it to Busquets, who puts it into the corner. I thought the chance had gone after the after Morata had his cleared off the line. But just that pass there, he's just very heavy touch and Rakitic just knocks it back and gives it to Roberto to put in the corner. Right, let's get a second to see if we can get back into this. Gaia to Suarez into Sergio Roberto. Just they got everyone back again. They're just defending for their lives. They're just going to go to the corner and hold it. Or not. Well, that game didn't quite go to plan. We lose 3-1 to Villarreal. <laughs> to a few sloppy passes and a few just bad mistakes. And they just took the chances they got and just held on. So we'll just carry on with the training and jump forward to the next game. And it's Real Madrid. I don't want to manage Ecuador. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> right, I'll just keep going. Do, 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 do. We're almost there. Right, five emails or all these. Uh, international duty, update from England, press conference, update from in Spain, press conference. Right, so we now play Real Madrid, who are three points ahead of us. So if we win, we'll go equal on points and ahead of them on goal difference. So let's go go out there and get three points. But if we lose, they're going to go six points clear, and Atletico Madrid can Atletico Madrid via Real and Real Vallecano can catch us or overtake us so we'll jump into the next game and I'll see you on the pitch so it's the clash at the top of the table Real Madrid Barcelona El Clasico so we'll just go through we'll show you the teams that are lining up I've gone for a full strength team uh, apparently the two players to watch are Suarez and Ronaldo which are no surprise I thought Messi would be there as well but he hasn't actually overly scored Suarez has been our sort of talisman this season so Real Madrid have more or less gone for what I was expecting uh, Navas and goal probably be the their weakest player of the lot but Real Madrid don't really have many weak players and this is a lineup I've gone for pretty much the strongest team I can put out and we'll hopefully get three points and improve on the 3-1 loss we had before against Villarreal PK clears it I was hoping for a bad touch from Marcelo there. But Neymar wins it. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't want that to stay in if it's going to go to Bale. Ronaldo. Why is it not Bale on the edge of the box? And good save by De Gea. A good shot on his right foot, but I wasn't expecting him to turn in and try that there. But lovely save. Ronaldo wins the header and there's a bad pass Suarez and Iniesta plays it out to Neymar and try and cut back inside he's committed give it back to Iniesta he's going to shoot and it's 1-0 25 minutes in Iniesta gets the goal Whew, the whole the first 20 minutes have all been Real Madrid attacking and this is our probably 
best chance so far and we've taken it. But their defender just committed and just missed the ball when Neymar cut back inside and Iniesta was free in the box to put it in the corner. 1-0. Danny Alves into Messi, going to cut back in and play it to Neymar. He's going to give it to Messi, he slides in and it's safe for the keeper. And Ramos is just going to to get past and Alba wins the ball back and plays it to Rakitic. To Messi, he's just going to burst past the outside. And Suarez has made the wrong run, going to cut back in, think it up. Suarez with the header. And that's 2 0. I was hoping that ball was going to fall to Neymar to volley. But I can't complain with Suarez getting his head on it to score. A very difficult header to get in. And the keeper should have done better. But it's gone in. And he's just had to arc his neck back. Travelling backwards to get the get it to go back into that corner. Bus Busquets can't get the pass out, and Hamez, Bale, back to Hamez who shoots, who puts it over the bar. Ronaldo down the wing, just cuts back in. Oh, I didn't expect him to turn that way. Is he going to put the ball in? No, he's going to keep his run going. Where's my defence? Bit of a cluster there, but luckily. So Suarez can't hold it and goes to Cruz. Gets challenged by Mascarano. He's just been dominant at the back, but can we hit him on the counter? And Suarez, play it around the outside for Morata. Is Navas going to get there? He is. So close. Bale plays it up to Carver Hall, who's the highest player. Ronaldo running, and he puts it in. And Mascarano, and Alba makes the block. Very, very close. Iniesta gives it to Alba. Can we hit them on the counter? Because they've got quite a lot of players forward. Suarez, going to cut inside. Still going. Still cutting, gives it to Rafina, to Messi. He's going to play it through the gap for Iniesta. He's just got two players on him. So back to Messi, to Morata. He's doing his first time shot, puts it over the bar. That was a r really good chance to make it 3 0. And he just doesn't get his foot wrapped around it enough. Marato wins the ball back. He's just going to try and burst and shoot. Oh, and he puts it in the far corner. That came out of nothing. It was a sloppy ball from... Is that Sergio Ramos? Yes, it was. Sloppy ball trying to play it out. And Morata just able to make the interception and burst past the outside of him and put it into the corner. 3 nil on the 90th minute. And that's how it's probably going to end. And it is. That was more or less the last kick of the game. So we've had a indifferent episode today. We lose 3-1 to Real, And then we go and beat Real Madrid 3-0. <laughs> so it's been an episode of up and downs. So we'll just go check the league table, which... I believe that should put us top on goal difference. Uh, yes, it does. Puts us top of the league on goal difference. So hopefully we can carry on pushing for the title. But So next episode is going to be slightly different. Where I'm going to play three or four games. Come back. Sh show you what's or run a recap of what's happened, then live com one at the end. If there's any game important games like a Champions League or anything like that, I'll throw those in as well. 
So that next episode, we'll, I'll be playing Real Sociedad, Valencia. Uh, the second leg of Sporting Gijon, Copa de España, and the Deportivo game, and we'll like on uh, the Sporting Gijon game. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.